Okay. They have an open house November 8th. You can drop in anytime between 4.30 and 7.30 to observe the programs that you're interested in. Okay, so if you think you might sign up next year, it's really important that you go to the tour of tech. Okay, you don't have to sign up, just show up. And next week when you register, you'll have a book that looks like this. And page 102, until you get to the very end, gives you some course descriptions for Tech Canvas. Okay, if you're interested in Tech Campus, it's in Grays Lake, Illinois, and as you know, we bus students there. You can go junior and senior year, or just junior or just senior year. They have programs like Cosmetology, Criminal Justice, and CNA. And we're going to start course selection what day next week? Sophomores are Tuesday. Okay, that was an easy question. Okay, you can either go to Tech Campus during session one, which is zero hour through fourth. Session two is period three through seven. Or session three, you miss seven through ninth hour, and you get you go all the way till three o'clock, and then you get home at three thirty or here at three thirty. You have to have a strong attendance record, a somewhat clean discipline record, and your credits must be on track to graduate to be eligible. So before they started, I want to make sure you knew that, and I am going to turn it over to the Tech Campus. Hello everybody, how's everybody doing out there? Don't you guys hate it when the presenter's like, oh no, that's not good enough. I need a better reaction. You know, it's, a, it's the Tuesday before Halloween. I think that reaction is, uh, is totally appropriate. Well, anyways, my name is Mac Paulus. I'm the marketing coordinator at the Tech Campus. I'm here with some instructors, some of your fellow peers who attend the Tech Campus today. We're obviously going to talk to you a little bit about the Tech Campus. We're going to show you some videos, and we're going to get into what it means to attend the Tech Campus and what we expect out of you guys. Um, just for starters, what do you guys know about the Tech Campus other than what um, uh, she just told you, your instructor? Go ahead. Okay, right, college and career ready. We pride ourselves on that. Anybody else have any opinions on the Tech Campus before we start? Okay, so that's why you guys are here. We're gonna get into it. Uh, to start, I wanna show you guys a quick overview video. It's about two minutes, and then uh, we will get into our Q&A panel. Hey, Mac. When you come here, you should expect to learn in a way that you never have before. Our education is hands-on. Our teachers come from industry, and they're going to make sure that you know everything there is to know about your respective programs. Tech Campus is a college-level education that you can receive through your high school. We offer college credit and most of our courses. Students will go through a career expo to connect to businesses ready to hire. There are over 20 different programs here, and most of them are granted with a certification upon completion that lets you step right into the workforce.
having some teachers uh, and, and some students of yours, we, you know, you're going to see this video play for about the next like 15 minutes or so. This just shows you all of our different programs that we have at the Tech Campus. So we have like, over 20 programs at the Tech Campus. Um, there's really no stipulations other than the ones that were mentioned to you beforehand. Uh, EMS, Emergency Medical Services, is a seniors only course. Uh, if you take cosmetology, you're going to be at the Tech Campus for longer than you would for the normal course. You're at the Tech Campus two hours a day, five days a week. So this is an elective option for you guys. Does anybody know of any like current electives that they're uh, you know looking at taking next year that would like otherwise replace the Tech Campus? I'm just curious as to what you guys like other options are. Got incubator. Incubator. Cool. I'm assuming is that's like entrepreneurship stuff. Cool. That's great. So you know th this is one of those things where it's your guys' choice. You're gonna choose to take whatever you want to take. But we just want you to know what kind of opportunities are there. Obviously, as you saw in the video, we have college credit partnership with CLC. Some of that's transferable to other universities. Uh, can I get a show of hands who wants to go to college after uh, after they graduate high school? That's most of you. That's great. So if you come to Tech Campus, you get a head start on that college career. Does anybody else want to go into the workforce after they graduate high school? Great. I see a few hands there as well. So we pride ourselves on having multiple pathways for every student regardless of what their preference is. So without further ado, I'm going to bring on our instructors. We have Mr. Gergoni. He's a Project Lead the Way instructor that's Pathway to Engineering. We have Mr. Firek. He's a Multimedia Instructor. And I'm going to have our student ambassadors join us on stage as well. I'm going to give them the mic, and then they're going to introduce themselves, and I'll ask them some questions. What is that? It's uh, digital media design. Um, in the fall, we do like Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign. Um, we do a little bit of 3D modeling and sculptures, um, and we do Google SketchUp. So we get to like redesign the home or bedroom or something like that. Uh, in the spring, we do video editing. So anyone likes video editing, um, it's a really cool way to get to know Adobe Premiere really, really well. A little bit of After Effects, um, and maybe a little bit of uh, sound design. But because we're at Tech Campus like five days a week, two hours a day, there's a lot of time to get really, really good at the programs. Um, we do offer dual credit. So I also teach in the DMV department at the College of the County. So I can offer dual credit in digital media design one, which is kind of like intro to digital media edit, uh, DMV two through three, which is video editing. So you, if you want to go to like Columbia or Tribeca or you will die, you guys, so you can take those six credits um, and start out in like level number two at those colleges. Um, a lot of my students start out uh, kind of getting to know the programs and become really, really good at it. So they've told me that like when they go into their second, you know, level program at CLC, it's it's really easy because they spend so much time with the program um, getting to know it. Uh, what else do you know? Uh, I think it's a pretty good overview. Uh, Hi guys, my name is Mr. Gregoni. I teach Project Lead the Way and Robotics and Automation, or what we call Microtronics. Um, they're all they're basically kind of pre-engineering type classes, so if you're somebody who's good at math, or you like doing math, you're good at science, you like doing science, uh, you like problem solving, uh, you like being creative, working in teams, working by yourself, you can kind of work independently, it might be a good fit for you. Or if you're looking to be an engineer in the future, and that could be like an engineer, like an electrical mechanical engineer, but it could also be like an engineering technician in you know similar fields. Uh, we also offer something called mechatronics, uh, which is a dual credit with College of Lake County. Um, right now we have an engineering graphics class with that, and we have a uh, mechanical drives class. Uh, and those two classes, it, you might be interested in that class if you're looking to work as a technician. Um, in an industrial facility uh, where you would maybe maintain or install uh, you know, automation and manufacturing equipment. Um, Tech Campus is pretty cool. It's my first year there. Last year I taught physics and design, which I enjoyed also. But you know, like I mentioned, you're there for two hours a day, so you really get a chance to kind of get in and do stuff. You know, it's not there for like 45, 50 minutes. You gotta pack up right away. You know, we, we kinda, there's a lot of time to work by yourself, so we kinda give you that time and you know expect that you take advantage of it. Thanks. Uh, 
Thanks, Mr. Gudoni. So as you mentioned, two hours a day. Does anybody know like how many other high schools attend the tech campus? I think that's something that I failed to touch on. A lot, right. So there's almost like, I think there's like 22 separate schools all over Lake and McHenry County. So one of the better things about the tech campus is you get to exit your comfort zone, which is here in Johnsburg, and you get to go to the Lake County and experience people from all across the range of the county. So you get to be with students from Alden Hebron, which is obviously up here, and then you're with students from Stevenson, Lake Zurich, Warren, Zion. Um, so a lot of different opportunities there. I want to just introduce our students really quick, and then uh, I'll be asking them some questions as well. Just go ahead and um, let them know who you are. I'm uh, Jeremiah, I'm a game programmer. I'm Leon, I'm a game programmer. Clayton, I'm a law enforcement CSI. I'm Cassidy, I'm a medical assistant. I'm Davis, and I'm a firefighter. Okay, so what I want you to do is just kind of... guys, but I want you to just kind of step into the light a little bit and tell everyone about your program. Just about the program? Yeah, you can hold <laughs> Basically, we're just learning right now about modeling the game, the model, um, modeling characters, vehicles, buildings, and then putting them into the games. Uh, you start off with a little bit of coding, and then you move into that, and then move into Unreal Engine, which is the main game programming system we use, and we just go from there, and then our final project is to make a game all together as a class. Uh, I do law enforcement. In law enforcement, we do like the intro to policing, and we do handcuffing, arm bar takedowns. We just do a lot of hands-on stuff when it comes to like policing. We do a lot of like codes and stuff, like learning that to not to do when we go to college. So basically what we do in medical assistance, we do a lot of workbook things and then we, later on we get more into the hands-on stuff like taking vitals and drying blood on dummies and everything else and it'll help you get into a medical school. In firefighting, you basically learn how to be a firefighter. You learn everything you need to know. You learn all the basics. Right now we're learning the tag hydrants to get water flow to burning buildings. And it's about 50% hands-on and then 50% classwork, and, but the classwork is still interesting. It's still fun. Yeah. Before we continue on, and I'm going to open this up for questions at the end, I just want to take a second to see if anybody has any questions that they want to ask the student ambassadors as well. I'm not seeing any hands, which is cool. So we're gonna keep going. What, what I wanna do next is I'm gonna ask you a question and I'm gonna ask you guys all different questions. After you're done answering, you can go ahead and sit down, okay? Um, why did you decide to come to Tech? Uh, I wanted to learn more about gaming because I do play a lot of games. I figured it'd be pretty cool to learn actually how to make them, not just play them. Okay. Since I know you're in the same program, I'll ask you the same question. Why did you decide to come to Tech? Uh, I wanted to learn how to make video games because I'm really interested in So what do you think like the unique things are at Tech Campus uh, as opposed to just staying here at Johnsburg? Uh, I think it's more hands-on stuff. You get to learn more about like what you're going into, your fields. And it helps you a lot when it comes to college because you're taking college classes and you get to learn it all before you go. Thanks, man. What are your plans for after school, after the Tech Campus, after Johnsburg? You know, where do you see yourself in five years? How about a round of applause for that one? That's a great one. <laughs> How do you think that you've changed after attending the Tech Campus? I think I'm more like open and more social than I was. And I love just being as hands-on as we are with and all the new people I've met and all the friends I've made. Great. Thanks a lot.
presentation here. I just want to ask our instructors a few more questions. Um, obviously, Mr. Fierk has been here for a few years. I'm going to hand the mic to him, and he's going to talk about why he decided to come to Tech and what's the best part about being a teacher there. So the best part about uh, Tech Camp is unlike a, a different, like a normal school is that, um, to me, it really feels like all the students who want to do art and design and all that stuff, they all come together and we're all kind of like the same type of people. Um, and that way it sort of like simulates a college environment. Um, and it, it gives me some time. So when you get through a class and you haven't really got anything done and you feel like you haven't learned anything in Photoshop, well, we have a whole extra hour. <laughs> So I really like getting down and like sitting with the students and sort of like helping them learn and get really good at whatever it is they're struggling with. Um, yeah. uh, so for me, it was a couple things. One, um, what like all your instructors at Tech Campus, what we come from industry. So I was an engineer for 20 some years, and when I made the change to um, education, physics was, I don't want to say an easy path, but it was a, 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 a kind of an obvious path. It wasn't really an engineering type path. Uh, so I was always kind of looking for a project lead the way type job. And when I saw this one come open, and I jumped on right away. Um, same type of stuff. You know, the reason I like it so much is you have that, that time. You know, time is so tough. I mean, that's, that's good and bad. You know, if you miss a day, you kind of miss two days. So that kind of, that could be a little bit of an issue. And then in my class, we, we get to make stuff. I got a table full of stuff that you know, we've done in class so far, from making robots, and using milling machines, laser gravers, 3D printing. So we're really kind of doing a lot of hands-on stuff. Thanks, guys, so much. How about a round of applause for our So I'm going to show you guys maybe one or two more videos, but you've heard us touch on college and career readiness. And we want to do our part in that partnership as well. We like to put on career expos. Who knows what a career expo is? Go ahead. That's basically where you all come together to pretty much showcase what career you might want to go into or promote. Right. So we bring businesses into the tech campus who are interested in hiring. We bring schools into the tech campus who are interested in having you guys come to college, places like CLC, places like First Institute, a medical assisting education. Um, we also had United Conveyor come to the tech campus recently. It's a company who wants to hire our welding students. And they had a little presentation. I'm going to show you guys a video uh, just about what that looked like. Uh, United Conveyor is um, 98 years old, and uh, we're a family business, and we're in Waukegan, Illinois. Uh, we make uh, pollution control equipment for power stations, so that means we take care of the dirty air, the dirty water, and the dirty ash that comes out of the power station. So across the board, there's just a lack of, of, of good, skilled uh, employees out there in the job market, and uh, we're, we're always looking for you know, people that have a lot of energy, a lot of care for what they do, a real uh, pride in their, in their work, um, and, and you know they have you know the skills that they're looking for, specifically you know welding and fabrication. Um, you know it's it's the quality of the people that are in our operation that really define the quality of the work that we do and our, our relationship with our customers. Well, I think the presentation was outstanding. It stood out because they had a president and you know high representative. Of they, they showed they showed a lot of respect in the way that they like talked to us and everything. They made us like it was very obvious that like they saw us as possible candidates for their workforce. And as well as that, like they knew that like we're young and we need to be getting into like a career and we need to start thinking about careers. And the way that they approached that was like really, really valuable. This group of students here at the Tech Campus, um, I mean the fact that they're here and they're investing in their careers at such an early uh, and, you know, age in the middle of their high school careers, it's just, it speaks, it speaks volumes about, about their awareness of the, of the job market, of, of themselves, and what makes them happy as individuals. And, you know, it, the, the most beautiful thing you can have is when an individual loves what they do and, you know, does a great job for a company that really cares about them. 
And, and I think that the big plus about the tech campus that, that, that Lake County has is a pretty unique thing as far as I, I can see around here. Um, the kids, the students get to try out these these, these careers and, and a good outcome is they try it out and they want to become a professional welder and they go through an apprenticeship or they get to work for a company work like you mentioned conveyor that, that values them and trains them and invest them in, in, in them over their, over their career. Another good outcome is that they decide, you know, at the end of the day I don't want to be a welder. I want to go and do something else. But having been through a program like this you also get the opportunity to see what it's like. Maybe you become a designer or an engineer later in life and at least you You've understood what it's like to, to work for the student design kids that can be made. Well, events like today, having a company come into the tech campus, um, our instructors are from industry, and that is an outstanding benefit that we have that the instructors that are with the students on a regular basis have the ability and the experience to share stories of what it was like for them to be in industry. But today brings it all home. Um, today was an opportunity for what the instructors are saying to be reinforced by a company. And not only a company, you had the president of a company that, that came in that indicated the need to fill a pipeline, that there is a skills gap, and they've identified the Tech Campus students as a way to fulfill that skills gap because our Tech Campus students are very talented students thanks to our instructors and the ecosystem. So I don't know how many of you guys heard um, the president of that company, he was talking about you come to the Tech Campus thinking you want to be a welder and a good outcome is you find out that you do want to be a welder and that's something that you want to pursue in your life. But another good outcome is that you realize that you don't want to be a welder, that you're crossing something off the list. So that's what I've been talking about as far as getting out of your comfort zone and experiencing some new things. You get a chance to also cross things off the list. You know, I think everybody wants to find that passion in their life. But I'm not sure that anybody, you know, has an easy time finding it. That's why, in my opinion, I think it's easier to cross things off the list that you don't want to be to focus on the things that you may want to be. You know, like when I say get out of your comfort zone, like I'm curious what that phrase means to you guys. I'm sure you guys have heard it all the time. Like, does anybody have an opinion or a voice on that phrase, get out of your comfort zone? Nobody's ever heard that before. Doing something you wouldn't normally try in the back. We're going to say the same thing. Anybody else? So I think it's easy, you know, I think it's easy to stay in your comfort zone and to, you know, do what is safe, but it's so much more impactful on your long term development to leave that comfort zone and to try something that you wouldn't normally try. So that's what coming to the tech campus is all about. And I have just one more video to show you guys, just touching on what our college career readiness uh, preparations look like. But again, we do have college credit uh, with the College of Lake County that may be transferable as well. I know you guys are out in McHenry, so I'm not sure if how many of you guys plan on going all the way out there. But there's a few students who are doing the dual credit thing right now, and I just interviewed them, so they have a few thoughts on that. I'll let you guys listen to it.
So to just kind of head towards the end of the presentation, I just want to touch on like some of the certifications that we offer at the Tech Campus. Obviously, you know, you come to the Tech Campus for two hours a day and we want to prepare you for college and career. That includes being certified in a number of different programs. Um, programs like Certified Nurse Assisting. Have you guys heard of Certified Nurse Assisting? We have a pretty big population of Johnsburg students who take that right now. After uh, you take certified nurse assisting, you get uh, certified as a CNA after you take the state exam, which allows you to start working right away. Um, similarly, in our emergency medical services program, uh, if you take the state exam, you'll get your EMTP license, which means you get to work on an ambulance right away. Um, and there's a plethora of other different certifications that are offered in our programs. Um, I'm not sure, again, on all like, the specifications, but we have some course catalogs here down at the table. After the presentation is over, if you'd like to learn more information, go ahead and grab that, or just head to our website, um, www.techcampus.org. Um, the other thing that I wanted to touch on is we obviously do have social media. Are you guys on social media? Who's not on social media, right? Oh, okay, we have a couple of uh, instructors back there who aren't on it. I think uh, it's always good to take a break. What's your guys' favorite uh, social app? I'm assuming it's Instagram, am I wrong? Whoa, 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 okay, okay. I got a lot of mixed answers here. I heard like Facebook, I thought Facebook was dead. Snapchat and Vine, I thought Vine was dead. So we obviously are on all social media channels at LC Tech Campus. Uh, on your free time when you have your phone and you're not in class, uh, go ahead and take a look at our social and just uh, you know peruse through all the pictures and everything like that. I try and put I try and put up pictures every day, different videos. Um, before I wrap up the presentation, obviously we do have our tour attack November 8th. Is anybody planning on coming? Just off the, the top of their head, do you guys know if you're coming yet? Well, I see a lot of shaking hands, a lot of half-raised hands, so... Oh, there's, there's a big raise right there. Thanks, my man. So, head out to Tour Tech, um, November 8th, when you guys get a chance. Also, does anybody have any questions for me, for the student ambassadors, for our instructors, anything about the Tech Campus that you're curious in? Not a single question, I explained it so well that there's just no questions. Go ahead, Victor. Did you go to Tech? I did not go to Tech. So, my backstory, now that you've asked, you know, I might as well tell. Uh, I went to Libertyville High School. It's a Tech Campus school. Libertyville sends kids to the Tech Campus. I actually didn't really know about the Tech Campus. So, does anybody else here like feel like they're in the same boat, that they had no idea what the Tech Campus was before today? few hands, seem like a decent minority of hands. So unfortunately that's the problem with, uh, with what our marketing approach was beforehand. My position was never created, so I came on and decided that not enough schools knew about tech. So it was my goal to kind of change that and, and work through that. Good question, sorry, that was a real long answer. Anybody else got any questions? College credit? Does anybody plan on going to College of Lake County? A few hands. What about, uh, what's the community college out here? Is it McHenry County? MCC? Are you guys planning on going there or other four-year universities? 
I saw a lot of people raise their hands as far as who's going to college after high school. So I feel like a lot of you guys are planning on going. Who's going to FCC? Great, so our college credit at Lake County is transferable to a lot of different avenues. I'm sure most of it's transferable over to MCC. Thank you for all the, the shushes, guys, appreciate it. Um, most of our programs do offer college credit. I know courses like EMS offer like seven hours. Um, Auto Collision over two years offers nine hours. So those hours I don't think really mean a lot to you guys right now, but that's a lot of money that you're saving yourself and your parents, so a really great opportunity. Um, in that arena. Is there anything else you want me to touch on, guys? Any other questions? Go ahead. Great question. Yes, you can take one course one year and another one the next year. Uh, we also have like a lot of our programs offer two years, so you can take construction skills two years in a row, a lot of collision two years in a row. Um, the other thing that's cool is you can come to the Tech Canvas, and for the first two weeks, you can change courses. So you can sign up for one, and a lot of students will go sit in on another course that they think is interesting, and then ultimately end up switching. So you're not necessarily locked into that. Anything else? Yep. I'm sorry? A forensic scientist? Oh, forensic scientist. So the closest thing I think we have to that is, well, we have like our law enforcement where you're going to learn like forensics, crime scene investigation. Um, we're also adding a new program next year called biomedical science, where that really delves into like the biology and the chemistry that makes up the human body. So it should be a cool course. Any other questions, guys? Oh, the connection. Yeah. So we had a question earlier talking about how you could have like two programs, like you don't have to take the same program, like you can switch programs. A really big popular pathway for us is taking firefighting your junior year and then taking EMS your senior year. Can anybody see the connection with that? Like why do you think that that's a popular pathway? Right, they're all first responders. So firefighting, junior year, EMS is a seniors only course. So that's another really big popular pathway for you all. And again, like if I haven't mentioned it, feel free to go to our website um, when you get a chance. And all the programs are, you can get more info there as well. Am I seeing any other questions? I think uh, that might be it. Okay, so remember, if you go to tech, if you get an A in your tech class, that is three A's on your grade point average. Because you're there for three class periods, okay? So remember that. Um, what was the other thing I wanted to say? Um, if you decide you want to go to tech campus, like I said, you have three sessions to choose from. And Mr. Harm and I can sit down with you and show you what that's going to look like. We don't expect you to be able to walk out of here today and do a schedule. Okay? We understand that it's somewhat confusing, and we can help you um, figure it out. Um, every once in a while, if you have a ton of classes to take here also, sometimes you can get out of a gym class if you go to tech and you just can't fit all those classes in. Okay? Mr. Harm, I can't see you very well. If you want to come down. Okay, one thing to think about too is our, our district makes a huge commitment financially to send students to tech. So we do spend thousands of dollars to send every student to tech every year. So, and that's something that um, Dr. Johnson has made a commitment to. So we do invest a lot of money into those students that go to the tech to support the program. Um, and I, I've talked to tech students in the past and asked them, you know, what's the best part of your day? And, Overwhelmingly, and maybe you guys can raise your hands over there, but like, how many of you guys feel that this is the best part of your day going to tech? So, I mean, that's usually the answer that we get. Um, you know, if you go to tech, you're probably going to like it, especially if it's something that you have an interest in. Um, and like the video said before, if it's something that you might have an interest in, then you might learn that you don't like it. That's super valuable information, too, so you don't spend a bunch of money after high school getting a degree in something that you're not going to like. So, you know, those are some things you have to consider uh, as well. 
In all the programs, they have are listed on the card. So if you look on the back of the card, the only classes we don't send students for is automotive service, because we have that here. Welding, we also have here, okay? So um, for now, we have about five minutes until the bell, so we'll keep you here. Ms. Tauberry, did you have anything you wanted to talk about? And if we do send you and we have to drop you from the program, you have to pay the district back. Yes. That could be $3,000. So make sure you are committed to going. Okay? So we have a few minutes. Um, the books are down here when the bell rings. If you want to pick up a book, you can. Not right now, just wait. And then they're here if you want to ask questions, and we'll be here as well. So we've got a few minutes to wait it out, so just wait in your seats.